this Salvador del Mundo came all the way from San Salvador about 10 years ago, uh, crossing three borders um, as a homage to Christ, the King of course, but also to the immigrant people who have traveled um, throughout the country, throughout countries to be become part of and form new worlds, create new places. We think of Jesus as um, an immigrant from the heavens who came down here to earth to teach us how to love one another, to love God above all things, and how to care for this great creation. And so here we are honoring that, and in particular bringing attention to the struggles and the strong spirit of immigrant people who have a great history in this country and a great future. The, the church would want to have laws that reflect uh, the spirit of Jesus, which is welcoming and empowering uh, Jesus' preference for the poor, that those who are poor are made whole. And I think we have a role to advocate for laws uh, that, that make those changes happen, to bring, uh, as we say, the kingdom of God just a bit nearer. Estamos hoy aquí con el Salvador del Mundo que vino desde San Salvador hasta Los Ángeles hace 10 años, cruzó tres fronteras y estamos acompañándolo en un via crucis hoy hasta la frontera otra vez porque reconocemos que Cristo fue un inmigrante de los cielos que vino a la tierra a enseñarnos cómo amar a Dios sobre todas las cosas, amarnos unos a los otros y así lo seguimos en este camino de la cruz para... Um, demostrar el amor que debemos de tener uno para el otro sin fronteras. We just finished celebrating the Eucharist on both sides of the border in English and Spanish with priests on the Mexico side of the border celebrating in Spanish and Bishop Mathis and I um, celebrate in English Misa in Spanish. It was a wonderful Eucharist, an end to this Via Crucis, but more than that, it was a time of great blessing for the people. I think one of the most moving moments for me was when I was asked to turn around and then bless people individually on the other side of the border wall. That was, that was so very powerful. And this whole event would not have happened without um, the idea uh, and the energy of the Reverend Jennifer Hughes, who made this day possible. So we all heard a, a great debt of gratitude. Um, she, along with Liz, uh, the Reverend Liz Munoz, the Reverend Beth Kelly, the Reverend Carolyn Estrada, the Reverend Butch Gamarra were so instrumental in putting this event together. Um, and then also a special thanks to Luis Garibay, who I don't know how he did it, but he got the Salvador del Mundo on the back of that truck and drove him all the way down here to the border. What a powerful statement of Jesus' love and grace. So I hope next year we have even more people to come down for this wonderful Via Crucis.